Hey guys, Glenn here. Whether you're making six figures selling your 3D prints or you're just doing it for a hobby, here are five things that you need for your 3D print shop. All right, here are five things that you need for your 3D print shop. Some of them I have covered in shorts and some of them I haven't. If you want to purchase any of these products, I'll leave a link down below where you can get them at the cheapest price I can find. First on the list is a hygrometer, or multiple hygrometers, depending on where you want to put them in the room. If you don't know what a hygrometer is, I'm about to tell you. A hygrometer tells you what your humidity is in the area that you put it, as well as other things if you buy the Govi hygrometer, which I'll show you in a second. It's important to know the humidity of your workspace for multiple reasons. One, for storing your filament. A lot of my filament is out in the elements, and I gotta make sure that since I'm in a basement, it gets a little humid here. Or if I open the windows for too long, it might get to 60 or 70% humidity, or even more if you're in Florida. Up here in Connecticut, we have a lot of wet basements. Uh, mine's pretty dry because it's a pretty new house, but a lot of people that I know have very wet basements and you gotta make sure that you don't have too high of a humidity. This is not only gonna ruin your spools of filaments, especially if it's PETG or ASA or anything other than PLA, but even PLA gets messed up in high humidity. And while you're printing, you don't want 70% humidity while you're printing PETG or else every single printer that you have, you're going to have to have a dry box for, which is very expensive. So you'll know that if you need to lower the humidity by a dehumidifier or not, or sometimes just close the windows. It's really neat that for me to be able to tell that if it's really high humidity outside, I got to keep the windows closed or else I'm going to ruin my filament after a couple days. Now you can start off with these cheap hygrometers that come in kits of one, two, or four, uh, possibly even more, and you can put them in multiple spots in a room and tell what your humidity is in certain spots. Now, if you want to step up your game, it's really not that much more. It's about 15 to 20 bucks per hygrometer, but I would recommend getting the Govi because check out what it could do. This is the Govi hygrometer on my app, and I'm screen recording on my Android right now. You can see that, one, you can tell a temperature. And you can do Fahrenheit and Celsius. This is just the last hour. It has been very hot in my sweatshop lately. But the biggest thing for your 3D print shop is the relative humidity. You want to keep it under 40 if you can. Mine has been skyrocketing lately just because of the time of season it is and I do not have a dehumidifier at the moment. But you can tell the day. If I click on the day, you can see the humidity has dropped significantly. When it dropped is when I opened the windows, believe it or not. Um, you can look at the week of what the humidity is. A lot of my spools have been getting a little stringy lately, um, but it's almost over because we're going into September. Now you can look at the month of what my humidity is, and yes, you can see I really need to keep it down. It also tells you the dew point and the VPD, whatever that is, but I really don't care. We care about the relative humidity, and I mean, you could tell for the whole month, the whole year, the week of the day, even down to the hour, you can tell what the temperature is and the relative humidity, and it's all recorded, and it's Bluetooth to your phone. I highly recommend getting a Gobi. They are awesome. Next up on the list is a heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun, you're doing it wrong. A heat gun's gonna give you the opportunity to clean up those strings, especially if you buy cheap filament. So it actually gives you the opportunity to buy cheaper filaments, as long as it's not too cheap. I have reviews and other videos about how cheap you really can go in the filament. But if you don't have a heat gun, you're not going to get rid of those strings very easily. But you can just melt them off with just a couple seconds. At about 500 degrees is what mine's set to. I have no idea if that's calibrated or not, to be honest. Next would be this set of hex screwdrivers, or Allen key screwdrivers. These make it extremely easy to repair your printers. It has four different sizes. 1.5 millimeter, 2 millimeter, 2.5 millimeter, and 3 millimeter. If I was using a regular Allen key still, I would definitely not want to fix my printers. Now, while we're talking about fixing your printers, we gotta talk about fixing your prints. This is a file set that comes with five different shapes of files, and it's been extremely helpful cleaning up my prints. Now these files were super cheap and totally worth every single penny because I use them every single day. Now one of them is a triangle, 
You can see here. Extremely useful for getting into hard reach spaces. One of them is completely flat. And this one's really good for sanding things down on edges. You also got a circle one. It's a complete, it's completely round, which is good for poking into screw holes and stuff like that. Then you got another one flat, but it's flat on the edge as well. And then you got a square one. This one is just simply square. You can see that, um, you know, I've been using them for a while, but they are not worn down. The last one is gonna come a little bit of a surprise to you, most likely. I have not featured this on any of my shorts, uh, but it's actually something I use a lot, and it's kind of a creative way to save your prints. If you have a little bit of imperfection, that's not too bad, but um, <laughs> it's actually a 3D print pen. This pen, uh, believe it or not, really any pen, I'm assuming this one, um, I'm not sure if they, if, if, where I got it. I think I just ordered off Amazon, but I'll, I'll put a link below if I, if I can find it. Um, but it, it heats it up only to like 180, I think, but that's all you really need to. So it, let, let's say I have uh, an orange print here. Um, and I can't really show you because I don't have any messed up prints at the moment. But let's just say that you left out, like it printed, but it didn't quite finish just one layer line. You can heat up this pen and once you get skilled enough with it, you can fill a little bit of a gap that would turn a print that was unsellable into a sellable print that people aren't going to know. You might know that there was a gap there and it might be a little bit off to you, but whoever's buying your print might not notice if you save it. So it could be a six or $7 print, like 10 inches tall and who knows, it could be a big print that it's just a little bit of imperfection or there's a burn mark that you can cover um, and save a print and actually sell it uh, just by putting a little bit a little bit extra of this orange on there you kind of got to get good at it um, it takes a little bit of practice but it'll save you hundreds of dollars because you could fill just a little gap that would have ruined your print completely if you got any value out of this video please hit the like button and subscribe if you like content like this i focus this channel on making money with your 3d printer and buying these things is part of it because it's going to save you money in the long run if you're running a 3d print shop with without any form of these kind of tools um i, I suggest you get them because it, it's really going to hurt you in the long run by not buying a ten dollar tool here and there also, thank you guys so much, everyone that subscribed to me. Uh, it shows that 91% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. It really makes me excited when I have new subscribers. Uh, thank you so much for my channel members. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I know it's cost you a little money, but I, I try to give you as much value as I can with that. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below. I want to know what your questions are. I answer pretty much everybody i uh it's very rare when i forget to answer and i think i'm to the point that i'm small enough of a channel that i can still answer all of your questions uh even if i'm really busy i still get to it a couple weeks after if i if i'm really busy like my, i just had my daughter for instance but so i really appreciate you guys all of you guys so much thank you if you guys are interested in making money with your 3d printer watch one of these videos next